Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Duality 9Xers around the world. Welcome back to another exciting episode right here on Duality 9X. I've got some very creepy paranormal stories to share with you guys. If you guys are ready, you guys are strapped in, you have your beverage ready to go. Well, let's not wait any further. Let's get right to it. The old unused window box. Little did she know she would find a treasure map amongst the old brass. The YouTuber writes, The map leads to a secret room sealed upon her conception seven years ago. While cleaning out the old window box, the young girl finds a load of old doorknobs and a secret map. The map shows that their house has a secret room. The father takes her into the hallway, tells her to place the map on the ground in the same orientation as the home, and asks her why they must go to find the secret room. They wind up in the girl's room. She says it would be weird if there was a hidden door in her own room. She starts pounding on the wall and notes that it sounds hard, not hollow. The father joins in and says it sounds hollow in one part of the wall. They decide to cut the wall, as there might be treasure and lots of money, like $150,000 so they could go to Disneyland. As the girl suggests, they cut open the wall. I dollars to go to Disneyland, but, uh, but yeah, the, in this day and age and in, with this inflation, who knows? and do in fact find the secret room. At first, the girl assumes there's nothing in it, but at the far end of the room, a small silver treasure chest sits. Inside are necklaces, jewelry, and doubloons. What a great way to send your child on an adventure. Wow. Heavenly that's Harmony actually, uh, sound. That's actually pretty interesting, and I've, I've heard about this exact same story uh, before, and I heard it is quite authentic. Now, if if this individual if this young woman found this little silver box that contained jewelry in it that's fantastic that's great but then you kind of wonder sometimes these paranormal kind of entities like to attach themselves to things from the past so you got to be careful with that as well Haunting. This one may actually be published to YouTube in June of 2020. This clip comes from a video that'll give you nightmares. According to the Portuguese title, the clip is gaining traction in the Spanish and Portuguese speaking YouTube communities. And after watching, you'll know exactly why it's become so popular. The footage shows a children's choir practicing, led by their enthusiastic conductor. They're likely preparing to perform for their parents in a Christmas program, judging by their Santa hats. At first, all seems normal, nothing out of place. That is, until the shot zooms in on this child, who appears to be experiencing something out of the norm. The girl with long black hair leans her head back, as if her actions are out of her control. She appears possessed, and her face, blurred to begin with, even disappears at some point, like it's erased from the video altogether. The young girl dips her head back several times in this manner, which is plenty of cause for concern, but it's her seeming to vanish from the footage only to re-emerge that's especially creepy. Is this girl possessed? Can the vanishing act be somehow explained? What is happening here? One thing's for sure, it's freaky. It's a little past 3 a.m. and this video is about to get weird, so I'll try to explain things as best I can. For a second, the doorbell camera goes out of focus, and then this weird oh, thing wow, floats across. Not an orb, not a bug, not a bird, no wings that I can see. It's just a big out of place anomaly that the uploader of this video was unable to explain, and I fear I can't do much better. If you've seen anything like this go across your ring doorbell camera or any other doorbell cameras, then explain what this object wow. floating by was. I'm not the only one who would like yeah, to know. You know it could be a djinn. It, it could be, you know, like a kind of like a skinwalker and they take they take different forms, right? So uh, in this case, it's late at night. You know, there's a lot of trees around. They like to be under trees, and they, sometimes they take the form of, like, uh, certain kinds of birds, snakes, you know, dogs, you know. Um, but in this case, that was quite mysterious. I don't know. If you guys if you guys have any comments on that, please share. I'd like to hear what you guys think. 
December 12, 2020, Lisa feels somebody walk yeah. past in her somebody. kitchen. She absentmindedly smooths over her hair and doesn't think about how weird it was until wow. later. The security camera shows a long strand of her hair move by itself and some lights fly overhead. The ceiling fan was not on and doesn't look like a fan anyway. It looks like someone grabs it and lets go. She says and thinks it was a ghost because it felt like a person was right there. Huh. Lisa knows who it must be, the shadow person she caught on camera two weeks prior. November 29th, she kept getting motion detection warnings on her phone. The video looks like a person outside of her house, except she says nobody was caught on outside cameras. Yeah, Normally shadow, I would shadow say, creatures. yeah right at this story, except look how the shadow exits. It just up and floats away. That's not normal to them or me. Shadow creatures January 8th, 2021. The shadow figure moves into the garage. It's not somebody's shadow from outside. Four seconds is when you can see this shadow figure has two eyes. I'll circle them. What do you think? All I know is that's not what I'd want to shadow see on my phone also after known a moment. guys. Also known as skinwalkers. Um... This one looks, this look, this one definitely looks a little interesting. Uh, sometimes they have eyes, sometimes they don't have eyes. Uh, they can also take the form of humans. Wow, to see something like that and to catch it on camera. alert by january 17th of the following year the shadow person had progressed to haunting objects maybe that was gravity but they think it looks more like a ghost moved wow. it anyway those are some of wow. the scarier videos on their channel to date something tells me more weird things will happen as the paranormal activity continues to manifest itself deeper inside the home which i think is clearly haunted a paranormal investigator named exist wants to see if ghosts exist in an abandoned funeral parlor in South Korea. In this stairwell is where they record the strongest evidence of paranormal activity. Aircon? Something is at the bottom of these steps, according to their readouts. Snapchat finds activity in the corner. It looks like a ghost in a white dress with her back turned, long black hair. They don't dare go down there and confront her. Instead, they sum up a music box that is hand cranked at the top of the steps and see if she will come to them. Yeah, that is pretty freaky. I'm not sure if a ghost is really doing this or if they were in control. If someone has more information about the paranormal equipment they're using here, then let me know if this part is real or if they have a secret way to control it. So much energy surrounds them that the music box never stops playing. Uh, I don't know what they you have guys think, but I mean, sometimes I, I'm not saying I doubt, but sometimes I have a hard time trying to believe that there's some kind of paranormal activity going on. There's a lot of these kind of devices that can be operated within, right? Simple battery, motor. I mean, who's to say? But if you guys know anything about this, if you guys can shed some comments on this, uh, I haven't seen this particular video before or anything like it, so I'd love to hear your guys' comments. Manually turn it off, satisfied that this experiment was a success. Next, he records his Snapchat filter to see if any faces are caught coming up the stairs. Instead, he gets something even scarier. Oh, wow. No. 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 Something walks right by them, opens the door, and holds it open for them. They respect the spirit's wishes and politely leave. 
Wow. This video was recently taken in Malaysia on a cell phone. Whereas UFO footage is blurry and far away, there's no mistaking what this object is supposed to be in this video. The UFO passes over a house and then takes off in the distance. No a short way. while later, this other footage was taken. Wow. That looks like a Millennium Falcon. The UFO turns sideways and appears to be observing them through a bright white light in the center. It regards them for a moment longer and then the video ends. Overall, it's hard to say if this is a fake video or genuine UFO activity. Most of the comments in the video tend to favor that this really happened. A Twitch streamer named Nikki is at the height of her game when her stream ends in a way that absolutely no one in her chat could have predicted. Nikki jumps up to see what's wrong and is greeted with shouting demands. If you can understand what she is trying to say back to them, then please let me know. A strange man briefly comes in and begins ransacking the house for valuables. You would think that's where their plans would end, but apparently the plan was also to force them to go to the bank and make large cash withdrawals. Thankfully, her viewers called the police quickly, and at least one of the assailants was caught on the spot. Still, for just a regular stream, this ending is extremely unexpected. I'm just happy the residents of the home were okay. While driving in Siberia, this dash cam captured a mythical creature on a snowy road. Redditor M Unexplained shares it in this scary clip. Oh, Do you wow, see it? Yeah. It looks like an enormous biped figure. Let's see it again. Oh, wow. I don't know about you guys, but if I see something like that, uh, I'm turning around and I'm going the other way. Right. Do you think this is a Yeti? Whatever it's it is, so it's leaving experts baffled. Don't watch this video alone at night, warns a YouTube channel called Real Ghost Official. He must not know how brave the average Chills fan is after years of watching scary videos. Anyway, he's exploring some abandoned places in India when a startling discovery is made. Caught on camera is a pale, puzzling, wispy figure. A strange light that disappears into the dark without a trace. If there is a road behind him, then this could be the headlights of an oncoming car playing across the wall. Still, I will admit it is quite bizarre to have a light anomaly suddenly appear in yeah. such an extraordinarily spooky location. So a ghost sighting is not out of there, the question. I mean, th there's a lot of paranormal activity in India. Of course, one of the the places that I I tend to like to feature because there are a lot of there's a lot of great content that comes out of that place. Uh, obviously, with as many people as they have, I mean, the paranormal activity obviously is at a different level but then again there are a lot of pale wispy type characters just kind of walking around as well too so hard to say if this one's real or fake he would have turned around we would know for sure if this is from a car or not however turning around is the last thing you would do if you thought of an apparition in front of you there's a specific fear towards someone trying to break and enter your home. The intrusion makes you feel incredibly vulnerable and violated. YouTuber What Up Chris knows what it feels like. He published this footage to YouTube in April of 2016 writing, This man was seen trespassing and trying to enter my home. The security footage shows a white truck pass by the house in question. Presumably the truck pulls up down the street to park, while its owner gets out and saunters down the street adjacent to the home. He is seen in the video walking casually, appearing as though he might pass by the house, before wow. he takes a sharp left and walks brazenly up to the drive towards it instead. Another camera angle catches him walking up the front steps, before turning right around again without knocking. 
He takes a right to walk around the house in order to find a different access of entry. Oh, wow. Another camera captures the intruder walking around the side of the house towards the backyard. The man disappears off camera for a moment before returning and trying to knob off one of the side entry doors. As they are all locked, he gives up and leaves. His white truck is seen a moment later, driving the opposite direction, down the road from whence he came. The homeowner has since come out of the house in his wheelchair and can be seen taking a picture of the truck with his phone likely in order to capture the license plate number. Smart move on the homeowner's part, although it's unclear if the attempted intruder was ever caught. We can only hope this man captured enough video evidence to yeah, put him scary. behind bars. Upbeat Jason puts on a helmet cam and rides around the neighborhood with his friend on BMX bikes. The video is mostly a nice view of the countryside until he comes across some neighbors with aggressive dogs and no leash. Jason tries to get past them instead of taking another way around and suddenly finds himself flanked on both sides. Ah. There, go fast! A dog lunges straight at Jason, jaws snapping. I don't think they make any contact, but I can tell by the sound of their bark wow. that they are ready to attack. Whoa. Clearly, they would have protected their territory if Jason stuck around, which he does not. But just when he thinks he is a safe distance away, he hears barking behind him and the chase is on again. Eventually, an adult picks them up and quickly puts their bike in the back of their truck before anything else happens. I really hope the two oh, friends never crazy, bike guys. past that house again. A YouTuber in Toronto called Nadel E claims to have heard scary sounds coming from the sky that many people have been calling sky trumpets. Tell me if you think these scary sounds from over the sky in Canada are real or fake. It's realistic how the sky sounds get louder after he opens the window, but that could be editing. Some people are saying that they've heard this same sky noise while others are saying that this has to be fake and that they've heard the sound effect before, but don't say where they've heard it from. Likewise, Nadell E kind of yeah. says that this video is fake, but it might be sarcastic. Like he's saying this event is real and one day you'll see. How do you interpret this comment? Here's the sky noise. Hmm. What do you mean one day you will see? Uh, I, I, I don't believe in this story. Mind you, that if you, if you look right here, it looks like a, an image or something of like a witch in those trees. But definitely, I, I've never heard that sound before, so... again tell me what this is and if you've heard it anywhere before solo ambush goes to a haunted shack that's been abandoned in the jungle the place is haunted by two evil shamans can join twins connected at the hip solo ambush is ready to live up to his reputation and confront them both on live stream he finds odd evidence in the pages of an old book that could be paranormal incantations of some kind tell me what he says here and anything you can about what's written in the book <laughs> I'm especially interested in what this page says. It has a picture of the world on it and a list. He stares at this page for the longest of all. For some reason, he lights five candles in the attic and says something to the shaman. Okay, sila keluar. Aku cabar segala jin, kadam, pesuruh, dukun. Maybe it has to do with what he just read. Whatever he recites, it works. Hmm. 
notice how the shadows start moving when the noise begins and how they stop moving when the noise ends. Final analysis. These scary moments caught on livestream video are paranormal and creepy beyond belief. It's like the ghost is walking right up and standing over him. It looks like Solo Ambush is the one getting ambushed this time. If you have a heart, this entry will break it. It was this woman's dream to arrive at her wedding by helicopter. She decided to surprise her husband at the altar by doing just that. Alongside her brother, in July of 2017, she climbed aboard the copter. The flight took off in Brazil, just one mile from the reception venue. The excited bride-to-be and her brother are both smiling at the beginning of the video as they take off. But soon, they're swallowed up by fog. An alarm starts going off and the camera begins to shake. You can hear the passengers screaming as the pilot loses control of the copter. All four pass away in the incident. When the copter didn't arrive at the venue after 15 minutes, despite the organizers being informed of its liftoff, the pastor was forced to tell the groom the devastating news, as neither he nor any of the other 300 guests had known about the planned entrance. The incident came as an absolute horror to the entire wedding party. It's painful to imagine and harder to watch. YouTubers Casadores de Sombras investigate the spirit of the old Macubero in this scary video. While exploring the spirit's lair, they are startled by an unexplained sound. Oh, oh! Yeah. Up, As they're investigating the matter, another noise is heard in the next room. Oh, aí, mano, aí, ó, quebrou aqui o vidro, aqui, ó. Quebrou, aí, quebrou o vidro. But again, nothing. They then do some type of ritual involving dropping a chain in a well, presumably to call up the spirit, and the ritual is successful. Horário pro me od detum nostrum. O que é isso aí? Pode jogar? Terminei, terminei. Oh, 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 oh. Shortly after, the spirit shows itself. Já deu certo. Nossa, tá doendo muito meu irmão, velho. Is this the old Macubero? Whatever this spirit is, I'm pretty sure it's not friendly. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I mean that. The noise that came out of that well, the video should have just stopped there because they had me. I, I was like, wow, that, that's pretty scary. There's definitely something frightening in there. And they took off. And then the fact that this guy came out, you know, seemed like, you know, he must have just like some like WWE wrestler or something like that. And just comes out with the backdrop of flames. And yeah, no, definitely some theater there, my friends. Andrea Anthony claims he's been experiencing strange supernatural occurrences on his property and decides to set up a CCTV system. He's both amazed and terrified when one of his cameras actually verifies his story. A small white object darts down the hall with enough force to wrestle some clothing. A slowed down version of the video reveals a vaguely childlike figure about the size of a toddler. It could just be video editing, but let me know if you see it and what you think it is. This video follows a Filipino ghost hunter who's exploring an abandoned hospital solo. At around 4 minutes in, as he's climbing some stairs, he hears high-pitched shouting. The Redditor who submitted this suggests its scream is that of either a child or a woman. The ghost hunter proceeds to explore the entire floor. All the while, you can hear the screeching in the background. As he nears one end of the floor, traffic is heard roaring out the window. <laughs> one
once silence has fallen again, the screaming can be distantly heard, and then at 7.15, very clearly and nearer. The sound is terrifying, but we never find the source. What do you think it could be? My best guess is something paranormal. This is a witch's abode, and even in the afterlife she has not laughed. Dennis from YouTube channel Dark Life is paying the haunted house a visit in this scary video. While taking some photographs in this room, he sees something in the mirror that gives him pause. He explains what he saw. Это мне реально сейчас не показалось. В зеркале в том проходе кто-то стоял вот там. This is what he actually captured on camera. While it does appear to be the profile of a person, it could also simply be shadows falling in a perturbing manner. But later, this happens. What do you see here? Hmm. I see anything. Oh, okay. Again, I feel like this could just be pareidolia. The way the light and shadows yeah. fall is conjuring up images that aren't really there, or are they? It does look like a shadow is reaching out to touch Dennis at this point. This creepy selfie photo bomb is making my skin crawl. Posted on TikTok by WINIRGTA, this woman is taking a selfie in the mirror when something freaky enters the picture. A small toddler sized oh, figure toddles yeah. past behind the woman but does not reappear on the other side of her. The figure moves fast and looks to be a slightly grayish tinge. Is this just the woman's younger sibling making an unexpected cameo? Or does she have a supernatural elf on her hands? Yeah, uh, I, I don't know about the, the last one there. With, it seemed like it, was, it must have been a family member. Somebody who was just kind of running across either that. It's a gray alien, I don't know. Um... But the, the, the one with the, the witch's abode and the mirror, I, I don't know what I was looking at. I mean, sometimes sometimes you're so hard-pressed on wanting to see something and your your mind starts to conjure up what you think you want to see and you see that, right? I don't know. Hard to say. Okay, we got a few, uh, few more def uh, scary videos here to show you guys. I was going to say definitely scary, but of course they're scary. What else would they be? Hey, if you guys are enjoying the content so far, please smash the like and subscribe. It definitely helps us out. So let's get back to it. Hello. Here's the next episode of five horror videos because I know from the number of likes on the previous series that you enjoy this content. So before we go to the first video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. So, let's start. Oh, I can tell this is going to be scary. And I'm watching it late at night, guys. This is when you have to watch it. Late at night when nobody's around to get the full effect, of course. In November 2011, a television news station reported on a boy in Jamaica who claimed to be haunted by a ghost. The boy's parents also believed this and said they were praying for him, but to no avail, as the paranormal events continued. The video begins with a journalist being interviewed. Meanwhile, an 11-year-old boy sits on a chair when some inexplicable force pulls him backward. The boy then says that he sees a ghost whom he knew when the latter was still alive but died in an accident four years ago. Then the ghost attacks the boy again, grabs him in the air and tries to drag him away. One might wonder why the ghost is tormenting the boy. 
Perhaps it's because the boy, in some unforeseen way, contributed to the ghost's death. Unfortunately, we will probably never know. It is not known what happened to the boy. There was no report on whether they were able to free the boy from this restless spirit or if he continued to be terrorized. If you have any information about this, please write it in the comments. Ah, that's freaky. Look, look at his leg. A group of paranormal hunters from Georgia decided to visit a mysterious cemetery known for numerous ghostly occurrences. At first glance, most of the video appeared unremarkable. However, viewers later spotted a strange figure standing behind one of the vloggers, something that had gone unnoticed during the filming. Yeah, right there. Did you see that? Did you see that? What the heck is that? Huh. I'm turning around. Gone. In this video, we witness a football match being played live. At first glance, everything appears normal. However, when the cameraman focuses on the goalkeeper, a black silhouette suddenly appears in the frame. This silhouette moves at an inhuman speed and... Okay, guys, like, you know, when, when there's camera footage on some kind of a paranormal event, why do people have to add special effects to their video? You know, making it look like there's some kind of a retro feel, like, you know, like this video is coming from like the 1800s or early 1900s. Like, you don't need to display that kind of effect because you got all these little kind of black spots to make it look like it's an old film and it, it, it almost looks like it's, part, you know, like... Any one of those things could be like paranormal. I mean, it's just, I don't know, guys, you don't have to put the special effects in your videos. Just put it out there as raw video and then let's take a look at it and let's analyze it together. Uh, let me just kind of back up just a little bit here. Here we go. The cameraman focuses on the goalkeeper. A black silhouette See, suddenly so appears in the frame. This silhouette this, moves at an inhuman speed right here, and seems this. to pass through the crowd like a ghost. The video has sparked a lot of discussion. Some people think it's just a camera glitch, while many others believe the silhouette is a ghost, specifically known as the Shadow Man. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. Yeah, that, that is pretty... I, I've seen, so I've seen this video before, guys. In the next video, we see a baby Are whose eyes look scary. That alone is enough to give us a bad feeling about this video, but that's not all. This footage was cut from a 2019 live broadcast on Spanish television Special and immediately went viral. The person who uploaded this video claims that aliens are living among us. They may be disguised as in the 1988 film They Live by John Carpenter. However, the videographer claims to have caught the human reptilian alive thinking the camera had already been turned off and decided to take off the mask for a while. At one point, when the reporter blinks, his eyes become very strange. Human reptilian conspiracy theories have been popular for a long time now, and many similar videos have been circulated. Still, it's entirely possible that this strange phenomenon was caused by a pixel defect in the TV. Yeah, what do you think about all this? That's what I think. Write in the comments.
This video was posted online by a man named Carl. According to him, he recorded a soul emerging from a human body on a video camera. In the shot, a woman can be seen calmly cleaning around the yard while their little daughter is playing nearby. At first glance, it seems that there is nothing strange, but in a few seconds, a tragic incident happens. As you can see after the cardiac arrest, a strange transparent mass rises from the woman's body, which we can assume is her soul. A few weeks later, a video camera at the same location captured a paranormal event. According to the little girl, her mother appeared to her and played with her. What do you think, friends? Is this video real or just staged? Be sure to write your guesses in the comments. Dad. That was all for today. See you soon. Guys, that's that's chilling stuff, man. My like literally I got goosebumps just watching this stuff. What do you guys think about that? I don't know. Um I mean it is kind of peculiar that the camera is just kind of fixated on that one particular area. Perhaps maybe uh the owner of the home has that camera there because that's where his daughter goes to play, right? So he wants to kind of keep an eye on things. But um I I don't know, like what like is that, first of all, is that like a body of water kind of like right there, you know, where the daughter is playing and, and then there's like a, or is that like a street? And then there's like another piece of property um, on the other side. It, it's just kind of very strange. But I mean, that that was pretty scary. Anyhow, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the content today. Again, if, if you guys enjoy this, please smash the like and subscribe. Definitely helps us out and we'll continue to do our best to pump out more great value-added content for you guys. I hope, I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. There's a lot of, unfortunately, there was some videos in here that were quite disturbing. Um, I really think about that that one video with, with the, the bride-to-be with her brother and a couple other people, including the pilot, you know, traveling via helicopter uh actually just last night uh the president of iran apparently passed away uh in in kind of like a, a similar fashion uh when he was traveling with his entourage uh via helicopter and of course we all remember the famous incident with kobe bryant uh not too long ago and he met the same fate so um it's it's terrible it's terrible you never want to hear anyone having to go through that and it's terrible to just hear and even see things like that so um listen i hope you guys have a great rest of the day do your best to be the best steward that you can in your communities and until we meet again until uh, until next time in the meantime and in between time enjoy yourself guys and take this time to you know go and, and give that hug to somebody special in your life Take care, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one.